Hi guys, it's Steffi from the Novelty Corner and I thought I would show um, or share with you a haul video and this is a few things that I've picked up from Spotlight, Linkraft, The Reject Shop and Riot Art in the last week. Um, I'm going to start with what I picked up from Spotlight which was an online order. So some of it's still wrapped up and it's only just arrived today. Um, but the first thing I picked up were these Sem uh, Semco pearlescent paint or a pearlescent paint set with 28 colours. I'm a little bit disappointed because um, some of the paint palettes did not survive the journey, but it's watercolour so um, I'm not too worried and for $5 this is just something to, to try out. So when I open it up I'm going to pop the uh, wayward little uh, paints back in their, in their spots. And it did look... <laughs> I can't fault Spotlight, it did come really well wrapped, but Alas, these things happen. So, oh, so well wrapped that they're stuck. Alright, let's get some scissors. Now, my whole reason for um, putting in an online order for Spotlight was because, uh, sorry, um, I wanted to pick up some of the new Amy Tan um, Better Together collection. I almost got the paper pad, but I've got so much paper, it'd be sort of ridiculous. Um, but I pick, did pick up the die cut shapes, um, which I'll either use for scrapbooking or in my planner. You've seen me use these sorts of things plenty of times if you watch my videos. I picked up the little um, puffy stickers, let's see, can I get them all in, which are really cute. Those will be more most likely used in my... Um, Project Life, just because they're a little bit dimensional. Now this is a sticker book. Ah, there you go. Actually, I'll take it out of the packaging. I just thought this would be interesting because they are flat stickers, so they're good for whatever project that I choose to do. And there's 150 pieces, and they're really, really thick, sturdy cardstock. It's a bit tricky to show. Oh, I like these. They'll be great in a plant layout. Yeah, so 150 stickers and they've got the little sheet that comes up to protect them as well. Although I don't know why they do that because if I can't see something I don't tend to use it. And then I also picked up the Better Together clear stickers. So there's typewriters and gold foiling and bikes and all sorts of things that are you know very Amy Tan and fantastic. So that's what I picked up from Spotlight. Okay. Now when I went to Riot Art, um, <laughs> this was totally impromptu. I was in the city the other day and they've got a, a store in there that I haven't been to for ages and it's a lot bigger than my local one. Um, and I was just killing, I was killing time. I wasn't supposed to be spending money. Although I, I was on the lookout for, um, white cardstock which I did find and also uh, scrapbooking pockets which I didn't find um, but everything that I purchased here cost me $7.90 um, because I found their discounted Halloween bin and everything was a dollar or less um, so I found these puffy paint or glitter glue tubes not puffy paint glitter glue tubes they were a dollar um, these stickers, which I have bought before, but I used most of them uh, last year, were a dollar. These glow-in-the-dark puffy stickers were 50 cents. These are 3D milk cartons, haunt slash haunted house, that I thought would be fun to decorate at Halloween. I also picked up these Halloween shapes. So there's a bat, ghost, pumpkin and a witch's hat in this set and then this one you can see has a mummy, a vampire, a witch and a Frankenstein and I got two of those. They were both a dollar. Um, these I'll probably give out to the kids at Halloween as or in my, the kids in my class as uh, my little Halloween gift and then just some 12 by 12 white cardstock which was two dollars. So there's ten sheets there. 
Also, while I was in the city, um, I went, stopped by the Lincraft store, and again, I was just killing time. And because I didn't find the scrapbooking pockets in Riot Art, I just thought I'd duck in and see if I had some, and they had a pack of 10. So I just grabbed those, and then I found these, which are really not, I'm actually not going to use them for any of my projects. They're die cuts by uh, Ruby Rocket. Um, and they're sort of very old fashioned. They've got silver silver and gold foiling on them. I'm actually creating some happy mail for a friend that I'm going to use those for. And last but not least was my re reject shop haul. Because um, I did go into the city store. And I was just trying to find a few bits and pieces that I didn't pick up last time. And I didn't spend more than... Any, everything that I show you, everything was $4 or less. Um, so these are some little paper garlands in silver and gold. And then I also found these ones that are oops, that are just in gold. Some little flags. So gold foil and gold glitter. I picked up another set of the adhesive gems um, because I've got a few ideas for how to use them in some projects. Um, some craft embellishments. So I found some uh, cameras and some typewriters which I thought are really cute. Um, some embellishment foil tags. Some of these will go in my happy mail and some of these will go in my project life. Um, I found these gold foil embellishments. Um, I really do wish they had collection names but they're, it's all kind of corally pinks, blues and gold foiling but there's some really tiny little hearts and bows and things that'll be make really nice um, project life embellishments um, some craft tags again some for happy mail some for my project life these blooms and bits which I thought were so cute um, I thought these flowers which are super dimensional actually let's take them out of the packet they're like those resin flowers so this super dimensional I thought these would make really great paper clips and then they've got some enamel dots on them as well um, so yeah I thought they'd be really fun to play with I did pick up another set of the die cuts that I picked up last time just because I think I'll go through these ones because they're um, sort of in my colors now these ones will, might be hard to actually I might need to take them out these are scrapbook lace stickers, so they're clear stickers. And you get two sheets in each packet. Oh, actually, they're sort of like on a vinyl. So I got a set of doilies, and then there's also a set of butterflies. Let's see if I can take these out. But I just thought those were really pretty and unique and I haven't seen anything like those. And now that I've felt them, I haven't actually even felt anything like that. And then the last thing I picked up was this card making pad which matches the um, die cuts. And this was the most expensive thing. This was $4 and it comes with some punch out die cut shapes. A whole bunch of card bases that are ready to fold and decorate. And a whole sheet of foam dots. Or foam squares um, which is really useful so that's everything that I picked up over the last couple of days and I am going on a self-imposed no buy anything else because I think now that I've got this stuff I'm going to use it because I've, I did buy everything with with projects in mind so that's uh, how I'm going to justify it to myself and how I'm going to stop myself from getting anything else uh, for the next little while um, but thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below or any comments. Um, love to hear from you guys. Uh, and I will see you guys in my next video. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video or you want to see more things. And I will see you guys later. Bye.